Good morning, Broncos! Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. This past weekend, the OHS gymnastics team competed in a tri-district gymnastics meet. Boys team finished third with San Angelo in second and Permian in first. Girls team finished third, Permian in second, and San Angelo in first. For boys events, senior Caleb Redwine got second on high bar, third in vault and all around. Senior Clayton King, first on floor and second all around. Junior Nick Drakus, fourth in rings, vault, and high bar. Fifth all around. Girls events, Junior Brittany Paredes in sixth on uneven bars. This week's Fun Friday features Mrs. Garcia's class, a mind and body fitness launch class. Let's take a look at what Mrs. Garcia and her students have to say about this class. Hi, I'm Melissa Garcia and I'm here with Mrs. Garcia and we're here to talk to her about her launch class. Um, what made you want to do this launch class? I've always been into fitness. Uh, my husband and I, we actually get up at 3 a.m to go and work out every day. And so uh, fitness has just always been a part of my lifestyle. And so when they asked us, what do we want to do? What, you know, what is, um, what do we like? Well, fitness is the number one thing that came to my mind. Oh, that's very interesting. Um, what do you do in the song class? Okay, we, we've actually split our class into, we, we want to do five different things every day. On Monday, it's not another mundane exercise. So we introduce an, an exercise maybe that the kids haven't seen or they, they're curious about, so that's Monday. And then Tuesday is Transformation Tuesday. So we take a, a recipe, like maybe a, a cheeseburger or something, uh, something that kids really, really like, and we try to make it healthy. Like what could we do to, to make this recipe healthy? And then on Wednesday, and that's today, is weigh-in Wednesday, we're gonna actually go to the, over to the gym and we actually weigh ourselves. And um, then on Thursday is, um, Thursday is thankful Thursday because it's not, it's, you can always improve your fitness, but you, you always, it always works with your mind. So we try to make them, um, what, what can you be thankful about this week? And so we try to do just a tidbit of being thankful for that week. And then Friday is everybody's favorite day and it's Fitness Food Friday. And we have divided our kids into groups and we bring fitness food in for them to try and to experience. Oh, those are very neat days. Um, do you think your students are benefiting from this launch class? Absolutely. I, when we started the class, I told them it's not about being a size two, and it's not about being like real buff, you know, because we, at first I started off with all girls, and so now I've got some guys. So it's not about just being fit, but it's about being healthy and, and living a lifestyle that, you you know, as you continue on, especially when you, these kids are fixing to go to college, and so that they can have the energy to sustain themselves throughout the day. So it's just not about your, your body, but it's about your energy level, and are you getting enough sleep, or are you drinking enough water type thing. So I, these are things that I try to remind them every day. This is a very interesting launch class, and I'm, thank you very much for sharing this with yes, us. Hi guys, I'm Melissa Garcia, and I'm here with Bree and Taylee, and we're here today to ask them a few questions about their launch class. Taylee, um, what made you get, decide to get into this launch class? Um, just to learn healthy habits for um, season, since it's coming up, just to get the energy I need and all that. Very cool. Um, Bree, uh, what is the most interesting you've thing you've learned? Good habits and like how to like good foods to make your energy up. Oh, okay. Um, do you ladies um, enjoy this launch class? Yes, I do. It's, I think it's, it's interesting and <laughs> super lit. Yeah, lit. Okay, thank you. list for the third six weeks on a roll has been posted outside of the corrals and zones. Congratulations to those that have maintained A's and B's this year. If you are new to Bronco Polo, your ID card is printed and already and ready for you to pick up in the Student Support Center, room 151. Today we are acknowledging Carol Mosley-Braun in our Black History segment.
Kara Mosley Braun was born on August 16th of 1947 in Chicago, Illinois. She graduated from the University of Illinois in 1969 with a degree in political science and later attended the university's law school. She earned law, her law degree in 1972. She began her political career as a Democratic representative to Illinois House of Representatives beginning in 1978. She is known for many things, but the most important one is her becoming the first African-American woman to be elected the U.S. Senate in 1982. Today is National Random Act of Kindness Day. One of our teachers witnessed an amazing act of random kindness earlier this year. We have been waiting for the perfect opportunity to bring attention to the student and situation. Some of you may know senior Clayton King. Last semester, an elderly man was walking down the street in front of the cafeteria. He fell down and was lying in the street, and Clayton happened to be in the area at that time. He picked up the elderly man and moved him to the sidewalk. The man was confused and disoriented. Clayton stayed with him until other adults came to help and called for emergency assistance. This man was very lucky to have Clayton in the right place at the right time. Thank you, Clayton, for being the caring and helpful person that you are and performing this random act of kindness. OHS AVID would like to thank all of those that participated in the College Door Decorating Contest. We have some pretty talented teachers and students. While you're walking to classes, be sure to look at some of those awesome doors. If you are a sophomore who is interested in the following courses at OC, applications will be accepted through Friday, February 24th. Criminalistics, Criminal Justice, Licensed Vocational Nursing, Cosmetology, Energy Tech, Occupational Safety and Environmental Technology, Cisco, and Fire Academy. Please see your Corral Counselor or Mrs. Nall in 137 for more information. Wishing a big happy birthday to the following students. You share this special day with the following celebrities. Here are the birthdays for this weekend. That's it for today's Bronco News. Tune in tomorrow for more announcements.